I'm uh, Chahan Kızıl. I'm a molecular biologist by training. I did my PhD in Germany in the field of developmental uh, biology and genetics. Then I moved to Dresden and started working on neuroscience and tissue regeneration. In 2014, I received a Helmholtz Young Investigator Award and started as a group leader in dz and &E. And uh, uh, I'm one of the founders and the current uh, chief executive officer of NeuronD, um, which is a startup uh, and a spin-off company from dz &E and IPF from Leibniz Institute. Our approach is to bring an innovative platform to the drug development pipeline, where at the very beginning, we can use a more realistic human brain-like uh, laboratory conditions and platform to test the efficiency or efficacy of the drugs. To develop a new drug, we have to start from the discovery phase that's performed in laboratories which later gives rise to some uh, molecules, which we call HITs. Then these HITs are transferred into a pipeline and they are further analyzed in uh, models in the laboratories, but also later in the animal models, which are called the preclinical phase. If those drugs, those chemicals uh, are effective, so they are passed into the clinical trials. The clinical trials are uh, human studies where we look in patients and healthy uh, individuals the effects of these drugs and if they are proven effective then they are approved and marketed but uh, one of the problems in the central nervous system and neurodegenerative diseases especially alzheimer's is that this process takes so long it's so expensive and the success rate is very very low uh, majority of the chemicals or drug candidates fail at clinical trials and one of the reasons why this is happening is because the human brain is so complex and before going to the patients we can't uh, understand what the real effect of that drug in the uh, human brain is our approach in the company is to bring an early testing criteria using a 3D human brain-like neuronal networks uh, that might tell us very early whether a drug can be effective or not. This is important because in the beginning we start uh, with many uh, chemicals and um, if they show a positive effect in laboratory conditions, cell culture assays, they are passed on to next stages. But at this early stage, it is important if we put a stringent criteria in a 3D environment like the human brain, then we can select only the best candidates to go forward. So uh, currently these uh, 3D essays early in the drug development pipeline doesn't exist. And uh, our aim is actually to generate this platform for a commercial pharmaceutical use so that uh, drugs or chemicals can be uh, selected much, much uh, stringently early on. We think that we have a, a societal responsibility like everyone else working with Alzheimer's. Uh, this is a terrible disease. There is an urgent need to cure Alzheimer's and to develop innovative tools that may help us to develop more efficient and faster and cheaper drugs. Uh, that's why we would like to establish our pipeline in a way that we can contribute to making the drug development pipeline for Alzheimer's faster, cheaper and more efficient. We think that the company has an impeccable business skill part and also a, a world recognized scientific background based on the institutes but also the scientists involved and uh, that's why I think bringing all this together, uh, our aims can be reachable and uh, we are actually working towards that.